So water is related to many other themes. Could you maybe explain what the Nexus approach is? Uh, of course, as you mentioned, water is not a stand-alone item. As it, uh, as it connects, water never div divides, and that's the whole concept behind water cooperation, which is the very subject of the, the conference that we are having. Water is very much connected to food production. There, uh, if you look at it, that in the coming 25 years, we have to double food production. That will have an incredible requirement, water requirement. The same is with energy. Uh, a, a great portion of, 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 uh, of uh, water supply uh, is energy dependent. So, uh, and vice versa, energy is being generated by hydropower. Energy is needed also for food production. So food, energy and water linkages are going to be more and more important, particularly down the road when we will have 9 billion human beings who will have to be fed uh, with, uh, with food uh, and who will have to have uh, energy security. So uh, water is basically the, the item that connects, connects food security and energy security. And the three together is the one what we define as an axis. And how should this uh, be implemented in the post-2015 agenda? In, well, what is coming out from the debate here is that uh, people would like to go, and this came out from your uh, internet-based discussion as well, is that people would like to go beyond the water supply, sanitation and hygiene goals. It is very important. Everybody recognizes that we still have unfinished business. But people see that water, as it connects and it doesn't divide, it's connected to every subsystem in society and in, in, in nature. Therefore. Uh, in the post-2015 uh, agenda, probably items will have to be uh, added or considered as well next to wash, such as uh, climate change adaptation strategies, such as uh, floods and drought management, such as ecosystem services, transboundary catchments came out very strongly, uh, and uh, above all, the need for capacity development, institutional and individual education programs and training programs. Uh, the thing is that we, we can say anything now, we can agree upon the goals, but if there are no people who could implement it on the spot, locally, then it will not be sustainable. So the key to the whole issue in the long run is capacity development. And who should do that? All of us. Yes, should it be more like uh, society, organizations or private sector? Well, in, in, together, in partnership. Uh, uh, the United Nations, for instance, has a, a, this the institute we have here in Delft, the Institute for Water Education, which is dealing with nothing but training the next generation of water leaders for the benefit of the developing countries by providing Master of Science and, and PhD uh, education. Uh, that covers a whole range from water supply, sanitation, irrigation engineering, hydropower, hydroinformatics, water resources decision making. So it, it, it is a very important uh, institution but it is alone cannot do that so we have to build partnerships which we do with universities and other training centers in Africa Latin America and Asia and of course uh, uh, with uh, with the private sector we have to work together particularly when it comes to the management of sewage treatment facilities or what is the water treatment facilities so it is a partnership that that has to be established in the coming years